This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey! What's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another World Chalice combo tutorial video. I thought I was done with these, but then I started exploring some different routes, different possibilities, and different ending boards, and I started coming up with different combo sequencings that end up with a lot of really cool and really favorable results. Specifically built around one of my favorite cards in the game, or one of my favorite Xyz monsters in the game, Cyber Dragon Infinity. Now, this card is something that's uh, very easily summonable in the World Chalice deck via using machine duplication on World Legacy World Chalice, or just by melding combos around multiple World Legacy World Chalices, recurring them, resolving their effects, and doing stuff like that. It's very much an easy thing to do to get into Cyber Dragon Infinity, and I was looking for an alternative to the Kaijus, being Gamma Seal mainly as a form of protection for my boards because I was getting tired of having to run between five to six cards in my deck just to facilitate the summon of Gamma Seal to protect my extra link boards. And then I started, you know, looking around on the internet and I started finding out people were actually discussing Cyber Dragon Infinity in this deck. And so I started messing around with combos myself and came up with some certain things. And Exodius definitely just makes these super possible and super plausible to be done. So what I'm going to show you today is an extra link combo that ends on two Firewall Dragons, Eeb, Gaia Saber, Link Spider, and a Cyber Dragon Infinity using these three cards. The Venus plus Exodius combo plus World Legacy World Chalice. I believe I showed you this specific combo sequence in a previous video when I was doing the Venus Exodius uh, combo tutorial. I added a World Legacy World Chalice into it and showed you an extra link combo that happened from there, but that was before I even started thinking about the use of Cyber Dragon Infinity in the deck, and so this one is basically just a better result. So you're going to draw three off Ningirsu, you're going to extra link, you're going to end with Cyber Dragon Infinity to protect your board from board wipes, uh, and then you're also going to just be up seven cards. You're going to be at a plus seven overall because you started with three cards and you're going to end with four in hand and six on board. So Without further ado, let me just show you how this combo works. It is a variation of the Venus Exodius combo that I've already, you know, shown you. So, I'm going to normal summon Venus, and I'm going to pay 1500 life to summon your three Shine Balls from your deck. And then from here, it's very odd, but you're going to be using a lot of resources. You're going to be wasting a lot of uh, Link Monsters early on just to set the proper pieces in the right places. But it's perfectly fine because Exodius is going to reset your graveyard into your resource pool anyway. So it's perfectly fine. So what you're going to do is you're going to link away with a Shine Ball into a Link Spider. And then you're going to link away with another Shine Ball into an Imduk underneath the Link Spider in the zone the Link Spider points to. Now with your additional normal summon the Imduk gives you, you're going to tribute the Link Spider out of your Link Zone to tribute summon for the World Legacy World Chalice. So now its effect is live, it is ready to go. And then from here, you are going to link with the last Shine Ball into another Imduk in the extra Monster Zone that you just vacated. You're doing this specifically because you want World Chalice names to be put on the board, but you don't want to trigger the World Legacy World Chalice before you summon Exodius. So you want to get full value out of your Exodius by putting all your Shine Balls back, but you also don't want to shuffle this back. So that's why we're doing it in this order. So you're going to link with your two Imduks into Orem, the World Chalice Blade Master, in your extra Monster Zone. If you had any World Chalice Monsters in your hand alongside these three cards, you could very well summon them here. But it should be noted that this combo is completely self-contained. It is purely a three-card combo. It requires zero outside influences to make it work and be the extra link plus Cyber Dragon Infinity. So... With that out of the way, at this point, this is the optimal point for you to summon Exodius to your board. And so you're going to summon Exodius and you're going to shuffle back your Link Monsters that you used and you're going to put your Shine Balls back into your deck. And now from here, you're going to use Venus's effect, paying 500 again, and you're going to summon another Shine Ball from your deck. And then from here, you're going to link with the Shine Ball and the World Legacy World Chalice, because they are different types and different attributes, into Eve of the World Chalice Priestess. Now here, you're going to trigger the World Legacy World Chalice's effect and hope that your opponent doesn't Ash Blossom you, but there's definitely ways around Ash Blossom if you want to structure chain links accordingly. You could have made this into another Imduk and linked away with it in World Legacy World Chalice to summon a World Chalice monster out of your hand. There's ways for you to dodge Ash, Blo uh, Ash Blossom if you go outside of these three cards. But so, you're going to summon a Lee the World Chalice Fairy in the zone that Orm is pointing to, and then you're going to summon World Chalice Guard Dragon. Now from here, we're already working with the Shine Balls, so we don't need any vanillas other than them 
in our uh, accessibility pool, and we want to double up on World Legacy World Chalice. So Lee is going to activate its search effect, and you're going to add a second copy of World Legacy World Chalice from your deck to your hand uh, so that it sits up there. Now from here, what you're going to do is you're going to link away with your World Chalice Guard Dragon and your Exodius. The Exodius gets banished, and you are going to link into Proxy Dragon. Now from here, you're going to use Venus's effect again to special another Shine Ball out of your deck, and then you're going to link away with this Shine Ball into one of the Imdux that you put back off of the uh, Exodius returning. So then from here, you're going to link the Imduk and the Proxy Dragon into your Ningirsu, and again, there's ways to prevent... There's a way already established to prevent you from getting Ash Blossomed if you think your opponent could have it. Uh, there's a few different, like, differing, uh, differing ways that you could establish this field, uh, but even as it stands, you have a World Chalice in hand and you could go Imduk to Special Summon it, but it's not really optimal for you to do it here, so we're gonna like wait for this specific combo sequence. But if you're if you're you know fearing an Ash Blossom, you can definitely do some things. Um, but if you were going to be playing around Ash Blossom purely, uh, you would want your Venus to be in this zone. So like if you're if you're trying to make plays with uh, playing around Ash Blossom, you want Venus to be under your left monster zone because you always want to be summoning this over here. So that's that's something to keep in mind. If you always want to play around Ash Blossom in your combo sequences. Summon Venus in your uh, in your zone underneath the other extra monster zone and leave the left hand zone open because that's just going to be what's most beneficial to you in the longest term. But so from here your Ningirsu effect is going to activate and you are going to draw your three cards. So you've already you know gotten a good amount of value out of this combo sequence and then you're going to activate Venus's effect yet again, getting the third ball out of your deck. Or if you drew it because it was still in your deck, you just summon it out of your hand. It's not that big of an issue. And then from here. You just link away with your Ningirsu and your Venus to start making your Firewall Dragons. So from here, linking with Ningirsu and Venus into the first Firewall Dragon. Then you are going to use Orm's effect to tribute the the, uh, the Lee that is in the zone that you summoned there. And you are going to bring back the Ningirsu. The Ningirsu pointing at the Firewall Dragon. So, what you're going to be doing off of this is uh, some very specific actions, some very specific card actions. You are going to then link with the Mystical Shine Ball and the Aurum that is above the Firewall Dragon, and you are going to link into Gaia Saber, the Lightning Shadow, pointing down at Firewall Dragon, and then from here your Aurum is going to trigger to let you summon a card out of your hand. So you're going to summon the World Legacy World Chalice out of your hand in the furthest left zone now that Venus isn't there. Right? And this is going to be the zone that we're going to be trying to summon the Cyber Dragon Infinity into, either this zone or this zone. They will both be vacant by the time the combo is over when we've made the extra link. You just need to keep one of them open until the very last step, and the last step is summoning Cyber Dragon Infinity. So, from here, at this point, what we have access to is we have access to this Firewall Dragon that is co-linked with three different cards. And so normally I would tell you some spiel about how if you have another monster in your hand then you can trigger Firewall and do some crazy like chain link nonsense. Which is definitely the case. If you have another monster in your hand at this point, um, when you're summoning this card, your Firewall Dragon also has the ability to trigger to summon a monster out of your hand because the Aurum left the zone that Firewall was pointing to. So you could trigger its effect as Chain Link 1 and then Chain Link 2 trigger its effect to bounce three cards from your graveyard to your hand and then summon one of those cards. But that hypothetical aside, you can still completely do this combo self-contained even if the cards in your hand weren't monsters that you wanted to summon or deal with, uh, potentially getting rid of in that essence. Uh, the only difference is that if you do get to use Firewall Dragon's effect to special summon in that way, you just don't use the Guard Dragon that's in your graveyard. But even if, you, even if you're forced into one of these situations where you want to keep things self-contained, you can banish the Guard Dragon to bring back one of your Vanillas, and it comes back right over here. So it'll come back in the zone that the Eve is pointed to, and then from here we're going to still be able to continue our combo unimpeded. So, back to Firewall Dragon. Firewall Dragon is co-linked with three different monsters. All three are pointing at each other, and it's pointing at them. They're all looking at each other. So what you're going to do is you're going to use Firewall Dragon's effect to return three cards to your hand. So you're going to return, one, the World Legacy World Chalice, because that's important for being able to summon our Cyber Dragon Infinity. Two, you're going to return any vanilla monster that is in your graveyard to your hand. You need one vanilla monster to make this work because that is going to be what makes your Link Spider. 
And then the third card you can add back is literally just any card that you want. I usually prefer to add back Venus, because if you have another Exodius in your hand, you can make this entire board, and if it gets broken somehow, Exodius shuffling back your resources and then summoning Venus next turn re-establishes an entire board by itself, so having Venus back in hand is usually worthwhile because I'm playing multiple Exodiuses in my list, and it's a great way for uh, recycling resources. So, carrying on. What we have now is we have this situation where we have all of these monsters on the board. What are we going to do with them to make them into an extra link and drop Cyber Dragon Infinity? Well, we're going to link with the Ningirsu as a Link 3, and the Mystical Shine Ball as one material, into our second Firewall Dragon that is over in this zone. This Firewall Dragon that is used, I'll put a die on it to signify it's been used, um, this effect will special summon a monster out of your hand. So that's why you added back the vanilla. Now it should be noted, if you had a vanilla in your hand, you don't have to add back the vanilla. You can easily work out of that as a resource. You can add back any other monster that you want from your grave. If you had like Foolish for a Hand Trap or something, you could do that. There's a couple of different factors that go into play. But basically, for the self-contained nonsense, you add back the vanilla and you summon it in the Firewall Dragon Zone over here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to link with the vanilla into the original Link Spider that got shuffled back off Exodius very early in the combo sequence. It is the first Link monster you made, and it is the last one you will make in this combo sequence. And so then the Firewall Dragon's effect will trigger again because the Shine Ball went from the zone it was pointing to to Grave, and you will special summon that second World Legacy World Chalice that you searched, um, and then add it back to your hand and all that. Back, to, uh, You'll summon it back to the field. And now from here, you will just overlay them into your Cyber Dragon Nova, because it's just all it requires is two level 5 machines, and World Legacy World Chalice fulfills that. And then you will overlay into the Cyber Dragon Infinity on top of it, giving you a free negation, a free suck up, whatever you want to go into your play structuring and play sequencing. And that is the entirety of the combo sequence. It's an extra link with three cards that also yields you a negation that does not rely on drawing into kaiju cards, which was something that I was having a lot of trouble with in my deck testing. I, like I said, I was really annoyed at the fact that I had to put like the entire security of my board on the fact that I just need to draw these like um, these uh, these non-searchable kaiju cards in the form of the field spell. Um, like the field spell, like you have between three to five of it in your deck, and like you have to draw it off the Ningirsu play, or else you can't ever again. Um, it was something that was a lot easier to work with when we had Emerald because you could like draw once with Emerald before you made Ningirsu. You could make Ningirsu draw three, so you drew four cards, and then if you still didn't have it, you could push out a fifth draw off of a second Emerald that you recycled with Firewall Dragon plays and stuff, and you could get to it that way. But, so what I wanted was I wanted something that was self-contained and didn't have to rely on a specific draw to happen for you to end up being able to make a protection for your board which Cyber Dragon Infinity is. Like, the entire reason for Cyber Dragon Infinity to exist on this field is to protect this extra link, because when the extra link is on the field, your opponent is essentially not going to be playing modern Yu-Gi-Oh! So Cyber Dragon Infinity protects that from anything that would disrupt it, like a board wipe or something like Mirror Force or Torrential or whatever. Whatever your opponent is trying to throw at you to specifically break your extra link, you can get rid of with Cyber Dragon Infinity. And then you still have a Firewall Dragon that is loaded with two bounces on it as well. This Firewall Dragon has been used, but this Firewall Dragon can very easily bounce cards to, again, protect the extra link, because Link Spider is kind of small in terms of how he uh, functions on the board, because he's very easily run overable by normal summons. But so Firewall Dragon can protect him from that, as well as adding other combo pieces from your grave to your hand um, in the process just to get value. There's a bunch of different cool things that I like about this combo sequence. I really like Cyber Dragon Infinity being in the extra deck. Uh, it definitely causes you to make some cuts in some certain areas, like the second Aurum, second Link Spider, or whatever. Uh, but you can definitely fit it in if you are looking at the space in a proper manner, and if you are looking at the way that you're structuring your plays in a proper manner. Even without machine duplication in your deck, you can very easily put Cyber Dragon Infinity on the field, but you can also just easily do it much easier than this if you do have access to a card like Machine Duplication to allow you to just go even further very quickly, very easily to get the other World Legacy World Chalices out of your deck. It's a combo card and a way into Cyber Dragon Infinity. So there's a lot of cool theory that I'm doing with the World Chalice deck that I'm really looking into online as well as trying to generate myself. So if you're interested in any of that, then definitely let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more weird and wild World Chalice theory. I really like this. I can't express this enough. I really like how much 
this combo specifically extra links but then also generates protection from board wipes and things like that with its own cards not having to draw into the kaiju field spell is a huge feeling i was looking around for so many like rank fours or rank threes that i could use that would make it easier for me to protect my board against board wipes if i didn't draw kaijus and then i remembered that this card existed and that these are level five machines and it's like oh baby this this is something that can actually work and so then I started researching it more, and other people had sort of the same ideas, but didn't really know how to implement it properly. And it just all started snowballing from there. So, like I said, thanks for watching, and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below, as always, guys. Drop a like if you want to see more World Chalice combat tutorial videos, or more World Chalice videos in general. Subscribe if you're new here and want to see more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! content, and links, as always, are in the description to my Facebook fan page, as well as my personal Patreon page. If you like the videos I've been doing and want to help support my ability to continue creating videos, then Patreon is the best way to do so, as well as it gets you access into monthly giveaways of significant amounts of Yu-Gi-Oh! product, usually around the size of a box in terms of value, and also possible access into my private Discord server, depending on which reward tier you choose, where me and other people are talking on daily basis about other fandoms as well as Yu-Gi-Oh! So if you're interested in any of that, then definitely go check out the reward tiers over on Patreon, and you'd have my eternal gratitude for any support you wanted to give but special thanks as always to travis miller iradium jay garcia yuki phoenix and troy perkins as well as everybody else that is currently supporting me on patreon this month you help out a lot more than you may know or understand and as i've already said you have my eternal gratitude for being someone that supports the channel as much as you guys do you're the greatest but other than that as i've already said thanks for watching thanks for your time and as usual guys take care i'll see you in the next video